holy and great Friday morning. Good Friday is a religious holiday commemorating the crucifixion of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Son of God, in his death at Calvary, or Golgotha. The holiday is observed during Holy Week as part of the Paschal Triodum on the Friday preceding Easter Sunday and may consign with the Jewish observance of Passover. Based on the details of the canonical Gospels, uh, uh, the crucifixion of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was most likely to have been on Friday, according to the evangelist John, chapter 19, verse 42. The estimated year of Good Friday is uh, 33 AD. A completely different astronomical approach based on a lunar crucifixion darkens and eclipses uh, model consistent uh, with uh, Apostle Peter's reference to a moon of blood in the book of Acts chapter 2 uh, verse 20 points to Friday 3rd of April 33 AD. According to the accounts in the Gospel, the temple guards guided, guided by Jesus', Jesus disciples, Judas Iscariot, arrested Jesus in the garden of Yestimani. Judas received the money, 30 pieces of silver, according to Matthew chapter 26, verses 14 to 16, for betraying Jesus and told the guards that Whomever he kisses is the one that they are to arrest. Following his arrest, Jesus is brought to the house of the high priest Annas, who is the father-in-law of the high priest Caiaphas. There he is interrogated with little results and sent a bound to Caiaphas, the high priest where the Sanhedrin had assembled, according to John chapter 18, verses 1 to 24. Conflicting testimonies against Jesus is brought forth by many false witnesses, to which Jesus answers nothing. Finally, the high priest adjures Jesus to respond under solemn oath, saying, I adjure you by the living God to tell us, Are you the anointed one, the Son of God? And uh, Jesus testifies in uh, the um, affirmative, You have said it, and in time you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the Almighty coming on the clouds of heaven. The high priest condemns Jesus for blasphemy, and the Sanhedrin concurs uh, with a, a sentence of death, according to Matthew chapter 26, verses 57 to 66. Saint Peter, waiting in the courtyard, also denies Jesus three times to bystanders while the inter interrogations were proceeding just as Jesus had predicted. In the morning, the whole assembly brings Jesus to the Roman governor, Pontius Pilate, under charges of subverting the nation, opposing taxes to Caesar, and making himself a king, according to Luke chapter 23, verses 1 to 2. Pilate authorizes the Jewish leaders to judge Jesus according to their own law and executes sentences. However, the Jewish leaders reply that they are not allowed by the Romans to carry out a sentence of death. John chapter 18 verse 31. Pilate questions Jesus and tells the assemblies that there is no basis for sentencing. Upon learning that Jesus is from Galilee, 
Pilate refers to the, ca the case to the ruler of Galilee, King Herod, who was in Jerusalem for the Passover feast. Herod questions uh, Jesus but receives no answer. Herod sends Jesus back to Pilate. Pilate tells the assembly that neither he nor Herod have found guilt in Jesus. Pilate resolves to have Jesus whipped and released, according to St. Luke, chapter 23, verses 3 to 16. Under the guidance of the chief priest, the crowd asks for Varavas, who had been imprisoned for committing a murder during an insurrection. Pilate asked what they should have done with him to do with Jesus, and uh, they demand, crucify him, crucify him. Mark chapter 15, verses 6 to 14. Pilate's wife had, been, had seen Jesus in a dream earlier that day. And she forewarns Pilate to have nothing to do with this uh, righteous man. St. Matthew, chapter 27, verse 19. Pilate has Jesus uh, flogged uh, and uh, then brings him out to the crowd to release him. The chief priests inform Pilate of a new charge, demanding Jesus uh, be sentenced to death because he claimed to be God's son. This possibility filled the Pilate with fear, and he brought Jesus back inside, and, uh, inside the palace and demanded uh, to know from where he came. Chapter, John chapter 19, verses 9, 1 to 9. Coming before the crowd, one last time, Pilate declares Jesus innocent and washed his own hands in a water to show he has no part in this condemnation. Nevertheless, Pilate hands Jesus over to be crucified in order to forestall a riot. Matthew 27, verses 26 to 24 to 26. And ultimately to keep his job. The, uh, the sentence written in Jesus uh, is, the, the, the sentence was written in is, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews, was written in Greek, Roman, and Jew, in Hebrew. Jesus carries his cross to the site of execution, assisted by, assisted by Simon of Kirinim called the place of skull or Golgotha in Hebrew and in Latin Calvary. There he is crucified along with two criminals according to St. John chapter 19 verses 17 to 22. Jesus agonized on the cross for six hours during his last three hours on the cross, from noon to three in the evening, darkness falls over the entire land and the whole world. With a loud cry, Jesus gives up his spirit. There is an earthquake, tombs break open, and the curtain in the temple is torn from top to bottom. The centurion, St. Loginos, on guard at that, at that site of crucifixion declares, Truly, this was God's Son, according to Matthew chapter 27, verses 45 to 54. Joseph of Arimathea, a member of the Sanhedrin and a secret follower of Jesus, who had not uh, consented to his condemnation, goes to Pilate to request the body of Jesus according to St. Luke chapter 23 verses 50 to 52. Another secret follower of Jesus and a member of the Sanhedrin named Nicodemus brought about a hundred pound weight mixture of spices and helped uh, wrap the body of Jesus according to the Gospel of St. John 
chapter 19, verses 39 to 40. Pilate asks confirmation from the centurion whether Jesus is dead. According to St. Mark, chapter 15, verses 44. A soldier pursed the side of Jesus with a launchet, causing blood and water to flow out. According to the Gospel of St. John, chapter 19, verse 34. And the centurion informs Pilate that uh, Jesus is dead. Mark chapter 15 verse 45. Joseph of Arimathea took Jesus' body, wrapped it, it in a clean linen shroud, and placed it in his own new tomb that had been uh, carved in uh, the rock. Matthew chapter 27 verses 59 to 60, in a garden near the site of crucifixion. Nicodemus also brought 70 pounds of myrrh and aloes and placed them in the linen with the body in keeping with Jewish burial customs. John chapter 19 verses 39 to 40. They rolled a large rock over the entrance of the tomb, Matthew 27, verse 60. Then they returned home and rested, because Sabbath had began at sunset. Luke chapter 23, verses 54 to 56. On the third day Sunday, which is known as Easter Sunday or Pascha, Jesus rose from the dead. Christos Anesti, because the sacrifice of Jesus Christ through his crucifixion is commemorated on this day, the divine liturgy, the sacrifice of bread and wine, is never celebrated on Great Friday. Also, on Great Friday, the clergy no longer wear the purple or red that is customarily throughout Great Lent, but uh, instead don black vestments. In the Orthodox understanding, the events of Holy Week are not simply an annual commemoration of past events, but the faithful actually participate in the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Each hour of this day is the new suffering and the new effort of the expiatory suffering of the Lord and Savior, a mediator between man and God, Jesus Christ. And the echo of this suffering is already heard in every word of our worship service. Unique and incomparable both in the power of tenderness and feeling and in the death of the boundless compassion for the suffering of the Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The Holy Church opens before the eyes of believers a full picture of the redeeming suffering of the Lord, beginning with the bloody sweat in the Garden of Yestimani up to the crucifixion on Golgotha. Taking us back through the past centuries in thought, the Holy Orthodox Church brings us uh, to the foot of the cross of Christ erected on Golgotha and makes us present among the quivering spectators of all the torture of the Savior. Holy and Great Friday is observed as a strict fast and Adult Byzantine Christians, Orthodox Christians, are expected to abstain from all food and drink the entire day to the extent that their health permits. On this holy day, neither a meal is offered nor do we eat on this day of the crucifixion. If someone is unable or has become very old or is unable to fast, he may be given bread and water after sunset. In this way, we come to the holy commandment of the holy apostles, not to eat on Great Friday.
Matins of Holy and Great Friday. The Orthodox Christians of Versions of Holy and Great Friday, which is fa formerly known the, as the Order of Holy and Saving Passion of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, begins on Thursday night with the Matins of the Twelve Passion Gospels. Scattered throughout this uh, Matin service are 12 readings from all four of the Gospels which uh, re recount the events of the Passion from the Last Supper to the uh, Crucifixion and Burial of Jesus Christ. Some churches have a, a candle burn, uh, with uh, 12 candles on it. And after each gospel, reading one of the candles is extinguished. The first of these uh, 12 readings, John chapter 13 verse 31 to chapter 18 verse 1, is the longest gospel reading of the liturgical year and is a concatenation from all four gospels. Just uh, before the sixth gospel reading, which recounts Jesus uh, being nailed to the cross, a large cross is carried out from the holy altar, the sanctuary, by the priest, accompanied by incense and candles, and is placed in the center of the nave, where the congregation gathers with a two-dimensional painted icon of the body of Christ, Greek to Soma, affixed it to it. As the cross is being carried, the priest or the chanter chants a special antiphono, Simeron cremate pixilu. In English, today he, was, he who hung the earth upon the waters is hung upon the cross. He who is king of the angels is uh, arrayed in a crown of thorns. He who wraps the heavens in clouds is wrapped in the purple of mockery. He who in a Jordan set Adam free receives blows upon his face. The bridegroom of the church is transfixed there with nails. The son of the virgin is pierced with a spear. We venerate thy passions, O Christ. Show us also thy glorious resurrection. During the service, all come forward to kiss the feet of Christ on the cross. After the canon, a brief moving hymn, The Wise Thief, is chanted by singers who stand at the foot of the cross in the center of the nave. The service does not end with the first hour, as usually, but with a special dismissal by the priest, which says, May Christ, our true God, who for the salvation of the world injured spitting and scourging and buffeting and the cross and death through the intercession of his most pure mother, the ever-Virgin Mary and Theotokos, of our holy and God-bearing fathers, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the lover of mankind. Amen.